An Arizona company is shedding light on a disease that's threatening children worldwide. The disease is jaundice, and Cronkite News reporter Mariah Hickerson found out how a new device is offering new hope. Like many other newborn babies, Brooklyn was treated for jaundice. I was shocked because to me she didn't look that yellow and she was acting quite normal. Luckily for Brooklyn, her experience wasn't severe. Since she didn't have it as bad, I think I got a little bit of, uh, I was kind of like let off the hook. But not every baby has it as easy as she did. And a team of ASU graduates are trying to change that. These babies die not because jaundice is a fatal problem. They die only because jaundice, they don't have access to a medical equipment that can treat jaundice. Here at ASU's Innovation Center, a company named Neolite is creating two phototherapy devices to cure jaundice for both developing and developed countries. The medical equipment that's available to treat jaundice is about $5,000 and it's very tall, bulky, and it's very, uh, it consumes a lot of electricity and it's, uh, it uses a, a, a lot of skilled manpower to work on it. That's why they're developing a smaller, portable, and cost-effective device for treatment. A prototype is expected later this year. So the initial goal of the device was to provide a solution, a hope for all those uh, babies dying in developing countries like Africa and India. So the hope is all babies will have a chance, like baby Brooklyn did. In Tempe, Mariah Hickerson, Cronkite News. Neonatal jaundice claims 10 lives every hour worldwide. The company Neolite is accepting donations online to further fund their device.